Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some of the unfortunate aspects of being, it's so weird to say like a public personality or like a YouTuber, just being out on the internet. Like people who aren't your friends and family knowing who you are, I guess, or co-workers for that matter. And we were talking about this a little bit in this um, programming YouTube Discord channel um, set up by somebody and um, by Florin. And um, it sort of came up and... It's it's strange at times how how weird people on the internet can be. Like I guess we all ex expect it, but we're just going to talk about a little some of the craziness going on in the world with that sort of stuff, I guess. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnered up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after-hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So I've been on the internet, like on YouTube and like social media for about four or five years now. And I've had a couple strange, strange things happen. One, uh, I'll, even though my channel's like majority male, I've had women uh, reach out and just out of the blue, I'm like, hey, how you doing? It's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little strange. Uh, two, I've had uh, men reach out who want you to essentially be their personal tutor and use up all your time and just essentially as if you, you know, somehow you owe them something because they watch your videos. And then when you politely decline, right? I say, you know, I, I, I can't solve your problems for you because I, you know, I, I have to live my life more or less. And like, I'd be doing this for free all the time. And then you get the F you, you're entitled, all that. And then you, they blow up and you have to block them. Right. Then you get the people who, who, um, want to be your friend like in a very intense way and like you sort of have to you just you know so like most most people on the internet are very friendly right uh, this is our passion right especially in the programming like youtuber space so you want to talk code great you know we set up you know we have a podcast talking about code i have a facebook group where you can talk about code i have a youtube channel where you can talk about code um there's discord channels reddits all all that but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can talk to you directly all the time about code. Um, and sometimes people don't get that. And so I've had where I've had to block people on um, Facebook or whatever it is that they're getting a hold of me. And and um, I, remember, I remember one guy um, created another account to start, and started sending me, I, I wouldn't call them death threats, but threats of violence. <laughs> which is um, really uncomfortable. And um, then someone also in like the Code Tech and Caffeine group more or less went on a tirade and a rant. And like a lot of times Eric and I are just approving or looking like seeing, does this look like spam? We don't necessarily read through all the posts because we're almost at 20,000 members now. And like, you know, we get 10, 20, sometimes 30 posts in a day or two. And uh we 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 um well for the most part does it look like spam approve not approve and so one got through where it was like a guy in a shirtless photo trying to look tough and going on like a three paragraph rant about it's clearly not completely right in the head and things like that and um you know it's weird stuff like this happens all the time right and we don't always talk about it and uh, in my personal life i started uh, I started um, dating Olivia, and <laughs> and she's like, "Hey, I know this is gonna sound trivial, but can you update your status on Facebook?" I said, "Yeah, I can." Like, I okay, like whatever. Like, if you just want everyone to be on the up and up, sure, no problem. Uh, but when I do that, you have to understand that I have thousands of people who have added me on Facebook. So much so now that Facebook has recommended that. Um, to turn on a follow feature where if you don't know me directly in the sense of like we don't have common friends if we don't have at least one common friend you can't even try to add me as a friend but you can follow me they've recommended that and I, I told her 
And that was that was like two, three weeks ago. I told her like I just be prepared, like there's there's weird dudes. Like <laughs> that's just the truth of the matter. There's weird dudes on the internet. And when I go and I add you and whatever announcement comes out, you're going to get harassed. I prefer that you don't experience that. And I think there's a hint of like this dude's full of shit. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, why, is this, why does he want to tell people? And, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, and then it. And I was like, okay, cool. And then it happened. And then for the next week, over 100 random people just creeping. That's it. Just adding adding friend. You know, add friend, add friend, add friend. Just creeping because she's a, a cute girl. And, and I can only imagine that, you know, that in the tech space, for instance, we're very male dominated. It's like some like 80% men in the tech space, 20% women or somewhere around there, maybe 90, 10. Um, but there's even less women. I, in, in, in my prerogative on the internet in general, sort of building their personal brands, not because they're not passionate about it. Uh, but even more so because all the creepy shit that happens where, there's just harassment on another on another level and it's unfortunate because i don't think we should we should i mean there there's the reality of the world of like how are we going to solve this i don't really have a good answer but the the fact of it is that you give people uh anonymity and then you you really put them in a situation where there's no consequences for how bad people act and Oftentimes, it's just a vocal minority in anything, right? So, like, like the average person watching a YouTube video just watches. They don't comment. They enjoy it. They might leave a little silly comment. But there's always people who are going threads on threads, throwing out this, throwing out that, every single video, and and getting <laughs> getting a little crazy. And that's, that's just because, um, you know, there's the people who want to be the loudest are usually going to be on opposite ends of the spectrum. And um, a little bit unreasonable in anything in life. Um, usually the truth is not black and white. It's the center, you know, some, somewhere in between shades of gray, right? And and the people who are going to be doing that stuff, I, I hate that they're, at times, they represent our community, especially in, in the dev community, because it's like we're already going against so much, right? In the, In the sense of like, um, we're, we're, there's so many stereotypes about developers, right? They're, we're all introverts. We're all, um, you know, there, we have this, some sort of bias because there's more men in, in tech than women. And, um, you know, tech companies are immoral and, you know, there's just so much of this craziness out there that it, it saddens me to a degree. And like, so like when I see people doing cool stuff, like Brad, um, Traversy Media released a repo about free design resources or design resources in general, just putting stuff together so people have access to it. That's something that is cool. That's like, hey, we're going in the right direction. We're all contributing. But then you have people who then will send hateful messages. And and like, like do you know, because of my last name, my last name's Israel, for instance. Um, so <laughs> because my last name's Israel, the the um the number one like hateful comment I get from people who never watch a video in my day life. By the way, I'm I'm not Jewish. On a side note, <laughs> um, but um, I have I have Jewish family, but uh, I just get I I get blatant anti-Semitism comments all the time on the internet, just all the time. Um, and it's it's unfortunate. And a lot of times, what what you have to do, and this would be my advice to any of you, is um don't engage with the dialogue these aren't people looking to have a conversation these aren't people looking to um better their understanding these are just people looking to to cause issues to to get attention to be hateful so what you do especially in a digital medium like youtube or anything else block them just remove them from your life it's fantastic right like if you have a antisocial family or a, a very negative family in your life, it's very hard to remove them. You got your mom, you got your dad, brothers and sisters. They're all bad for your mental health, all that sort of stuff. Hard to remove their family. The internet is very easy. It's like one, sometimes two clicks. 
Oh, you said something I uh, that's really hurtful and mean for for no reason, not not constructive at all. Bam, bam, you gone, baby. Where's that ban hammer? Uh, so I don't don't feel bad. Don't think about it. Don't think like you're you're um <laughs> censoring the world. There's a difference between a constructive comment that's going to do good. Like if I go and I do a bad tutorial, or I I go and I do a tutorial and they're like actually this is wrong, like which happens. You know, you're working on these things for hours upon hours. Like, the course I'm working on right now, 100 Angular Challenge, it's it's going to be between 20 and 25 hours of just pure recordings. Doesn't I'm not even talking about the 100 hours developing the code, building it, editing it, all that. And so within 20 to 25 hours, you're going to make a mistake. That's okay. You don't go and ban people for pointing out the mistake. Matter of fact, that's that's important. I want to know if I understand, misunderstand. But if someone says, hey... You're a stupid POS, right? And just like that's that, that's that does nothing for me. That that's not helpful. And as a matter of fact, it's, why would I want you? Why would I? In in like a normal world, if if that was somebody in my life, why would I have that person in my life? So you know, some of this negativity happens when you go on the internet. I just want you to be mentally prepared. And it's unfortunate, and um, it's always going to be there. I, I think that's probably we can all sort of agree that it's always going to be there, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take actions against it. And all we can really do as people who are putting out content for other people and helping other people, we can just be a good representative of who it is we want to be, right? And that's why I've been sort of critical about some tech YouTubers who have plagiarized or done maybe shady business practices and things like that. Because it, at the end of the day, people like you're sort of at times putting out a message of what's okay what's not okay by people following your careers and you're in a sense you're a role model um which is a weird word to use but it's somewhat true and we should hold ourselves accountable and be the sort of be the person we want ourselves to be so that other people can have something to aspire to and things like that but with all that being said guys my girlfriend is here and so I have to wrap up this video. I was about done anyhow. But uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. There are courses in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, subscribe. I think I already said that. On the path to 100K. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge, to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.